Do you want to automate your lights with motion? Stay tuned. Welcome people for another episode of Everyday Smart. In this case, we're gonna be showing how you can automate your lights with motion. So when motion is detected, the lights are gonna turn on automatically. And when motion hasn't been detected for some period of time, they are gonna turn off automatically. This automation is gonna be generated by the Hubitat Elevation Hub and the app that we're gonna be using for this rule is called Motion Lightning Apps. If you do not have this app installed already, click the Add Built-in app and search for this specific app. In my case, it doesn't show up because I already have it installed. So make sure you install it and then let's keep going through the tutorial. After you install it, you're gonna see it in your apps area. You will not have any rules yet for that app, but that's what we're gonna be creating now. So click on the motion lining apps, create new motion lining app, give it a name. In this case, I'm gonna call it lights on with motion. Click continue. So the first thing you need to select is the motion sensor. So click there. In my case, these are the motion sensors that I'm gonna be using for this rule. Click update. Click light to turn on to select the light that you want to turn on with this rule. In my case, it's gonna be a switch. So click on turn on switches. And the switch that I want to turn on is the garage light. Click update. Click done. For now, we're not gonna do anything with this one. This last option is where you select the amount of time you want the roll to wait before turning the light back off. So click it. The downside for using this app for creating this rule is that you cannot use any time less than one minute and you cannot use intervals either. So in my case, I'm gonna use one minute. What this means is that whenever there hasn't been any motion detected for one minute, then the light is gonna turn off. Click done. And that's it. Click done here. Click done in this other window as well. And you can see your rule right here. So let's check it out. 